Good morning. Today's tutorial. It's a flip up. Now this flip up, I've been doing these for quite some time and I actually really like them. And they work like this. So, they attach to your page. You can clip them on or not. And that one's going to hold a journal card. cute and you can tap it so you can have them at the end of your page let's start now I always use my leftover crafts or oh, where's my paper there it is okay I always use my leftover then normally what I do I stick with I've inked all these I ink everything so I'll start with doing this Like I like using fabric glue, but you actually can use a glue stick and they do stick down. So just old book pages will do it. This is upside down, but it won't matter. Music paper. Rip it. I already got it ready. So I thought for this, you don't need me to show you everything. I'm just giving you ideas on I had to collage it, I suppose, but I use my junk. What's left over, what's been cut up, and all that sort of stuff. You don't need to follow what I actually do. I just like doing things this way. So this one. That's got its own page. Actually, I'm going to go this way. So I've changed spots because it looks wrong to me. Now, where's my other scrap? There's my scrap for that way. I ink a lot. You don't have to ink a lot, you know. It's what you think of doing. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I hate this. I hate it when I'm not able to show you. One day I'll get a really good setup and I can afford it. Unfortunately, I can't at the moment. No kidoki. So I'll put her there. So normally, this is the sort of scraps you have on your desk from a past project. Um, now, the scrapbook and paper I used is my leftovers. It's that piece that's always been pesty and hangs there. I actually inked it well. Now, I thought I had another scrap for that. Maybe not. So, what we will use ink it. Ink your stuff really well. Because that's what I like doing. Now, um, you can create this any which way you want. Like, it doesn't really matter. This is just pleasing yourself, not anybody else. So that's why um, I find it really important that you do that. So what I'll do, I'm actually gonna do it like that. And who's ever been in hospital and got these babies? Aren't they cool? for some of these shears so I'm just going to use this baggie I don't know how good this is going to turn out but anyway
ちゃまにぎりするねね、ノーミーアウトサイドですと。そう。Don't really hate on using that baggy actually. Ah. We'll use something else. These are envelopes or little lolly bags, as I call them. Again, ink things well. I don't know, I've got to think about inking, so I ink everything. It's just me. You don't have to do it my way, you do it your way. You know, because it's your it's your craft, not mine. Um I sew around my edges. Again, that's your choices, not mine. So what I try and do because in case any parts of that are showing, I like it to be well blended. And also with that journaling card. We want to ink that well, or flip over, whatever you like to call it. I just like the inking. I ink deeply well. I like that burnt look at the edge. You know, it doesn't have to be all over. So you can basically see what I'm doing. I'm really hoeing into the sides of that music paper. Just gives it that burnt look. And the same here. And I'll do it around here, even though I don't know what I'm doing yet. Need one of those new ones of those um, lovers, but you just make do, don't you, when you haven't got? And that's what I do. So I am going to ink some lace. Normally, I would just put my lace on, just like. And again, I will try and use these shears. This just leaves a better finish, I think. Especially, oops. That's not easy days to cut, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So if I, to start with, I want to create something for the front. Depends what I've got. But normally, again, I will use cheesecloth. Now, normally, I will have pulled my cheesecloth apart, and I didn't do that with that one, as I'm going to thread it more. But the rougher you make it look, the better it is. And then you can dump the ink on it. And if you're like me, you will get your glue and you just go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what I do. <laughs> As my grandkids say, I just fed it out. Now, with my top, this is why it's different. I like my tops rounded. Since I don't know what I'm doing with the bottom yet, we'll leave that as it is. Now, to decorate the top, what shall we use? Hmm. And that's the thing, is using what you actually got lying about. Normally that's what I do. I just go through different stuff and see what I got. And in this case, I'm gonna use this. It's a recipe actually. And if I remember correctly, this is from, uh, I'm trying to think which kit. Amity Bloom. It's an Amity Bloom one. This little journaling card and it's um, I think her recipe card. I forget which kit it was. So you can do it like that. 
so you can highlight more of your oops because you want that stuff showing so I'm going to do it like that and that's basically all you need to do there except you want that ink inked and another thing that I haven't shown you but I like doing is using script stamping it just I don't know adds a finish And it makes it look old so I'll go to here again I will add script finish this this is one of those projects that doesn't take you long it doesn't take over your crafting time um, it's finding elements that um, We'll go with it now. It doesn't really matter though. No, it's the same, so I don't want to use that. Um, what should I make on the yields? Okay. Then ask me who this one's from, because I wouldn't have a clue. Now again, figuring out placement and how do I want to lay it or whatever it may be. Ah, I'm trying to think which way it goes. It goes that way. So again, I like my cheesecloth. Oh. Cheesecloth is fabulous in um, any project you may use. Now I want to place that so that I've got a fair bit showing. No, I don't quite like that. And that's the problem. You've got to figure out what you like and put that in. Well, if we ink this, we'll see how it looks. Because then it just gives you a journaling space. You can write whatever on it just a tab if you want to be really really smart with it you will only glue all down here all down here and just there and because I'm doing that I need to do a little bit of to keep my um, cheesecloth down. Whoops. Okay. So. That's basically, you've created a tuck in there. So that's what we got far too bit with that one. Now, well, I think that still looks plain for me. So I might stamp it. And these are all just cutouts from various kits I might have used and look, not use, the, use them to their full potential. So, Again, I'll glue that down. Oh, it goes that way. So we'll glue it. Whoops. That there. It's just layering, really. That's what this is all about. Layering. Layering and making sure you get edges are inked well because that's what makes it look good and we'll put one when I stamps on it so you see what we've done we've created I want that burnt look on the edges I 
and once the glue dries, you can actually fray that. So I'm not fraying it yet. So now, like I said, you've created a tuck in there. Let's see how the scab, scab goes right on it. I reckon that looks cool. And I wanna brown that up. Now, that one's created. Now let's create the front. Now the front of your tab can be created in any way. I like this little bottle here. Um, I forget where this one's from now. But I've had a few of them for a while. Might have been just a penny, I don't know. I've bought that many digital kits in my time that I've got too many. Now again with this one, I want to be mindful that I might want to use it as a tuck. Now I don't want it that side because I actually want that to the front where I actually can see what I am doing. You know, like when it goes in your book, it's going to lie like this or it's going to lie like that. Right? So that's what you've got to judge. What do you want to show out first? So again, be stamp pink. Because even though that looks done, it doesn't to me. You know, it might to you. I love script scanting. It takes up and hides away all those things that you don't want showing. So you've created a tuck in there. Right, that's not complete down there. So again, I always look at and see what's complete and what isn't. You've got to remember, this is not going to show... Um, this part's not going to show, I'll, sh you'll sh I'll show you what I mean, just want to put a bit of glue, put some of this on, I like my lace, like my lace, and look, use your scraps, this is just left over from another project, but I've been using it now for quite some time, and it actually is good, I like it. I try and even it out. So you've got a peep of it showing down the up. Like sometimes having a peep of something is really cool in journaling. Okay, so there you've got it. Your tuck there. You've got your tuck there. So that's that side. Now it's this side. And again, simply what I will do here, I will do my script stamp. And then that way, sometimes I normally do it over the top. This gives it that extra age. Okie dokie. Now, again, or ink that well. As you can see, this is not a sewing one. It's the other one I sewn, and I sewn it because I liked it sewn. So, because I'm not going to put a piece of lace there, I'm going to really be generous with my inking. Again, I want to give that aged effect. It just completely transformed the scrapbooking paper. You can actually leave that like that. But me, I don't like leaving things alone. So I will create a pocket out of this. And I will actually leave nothing for it. You can leave a bit of the pocket at the back, but I'm just going to use the envelope itself as a pocket. And I will center that. And 
and then it's finding again finding stuff to decorate with now I think that looks really good again inking well because I want the burnt look effect as you know And this is basically showing you what you can actually do to your journal page. Like this to me is actually like a flip over. So I hope you've seen what I'm doing. This is really hard when you're trying to do something like this. There. Again, I'll use one of these. Maybe one of Ezra. And I can also use a word. Who likes words? Look, I've made this simple because I want to be here um, for a while doing um, a page. This might be too late. Because you know what? I love that print. And then might use it that way. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you're writing paper actually. Little pads. If you've got them tea dyed, use them. They make the best. And again, and again, we scale them. I like it. Ink it. And now, there's your stuck in there. And again, once it goes over your page. This is what you'll see. So it's a flip over. I've been doing like I said these for quite some time. I like them. A lot of people find them probably a hindrance in their journal. I actually don't. Now, if you really want to add more to it, you can actually add a tab. And again, because I don't want to add a tab, ink it well. See how cute your little flip up is? Because you've got a pocket under there and there, and you've got your little tuck there, which you can add more things to. So that's your flip up. See if you created. Lots of, lots of things really for just one page and then you can actually write in your journal but you've got a decorative flip up and as you know there is a tuck let's find a card that will fit in there there you got a tuck in there so you, you can hide a leather in there no one would know it's there but yeah, so that's it. That's what I created this morning. A junk journal flip. And that one. And then again, it's got tucks in it as well. Plus it's got a tab to lift it. That can have one too, but I don't want it to. 
So thanks for watching. Um, tune into my channel anytime and subscribe. I'm actually at 300, going to be giving one of my bigger journals out for um, subscription. So sign up. Um, subscribe, I should say, not sign up. Um, like, share, and I hope you learned something from me today. Thank you.